Hey guys, in this video, I'm bringing you some gameplay for The Bunker on the Nintendo Switch. This game just came out today for $12.49, which is not a bad price. And uh, uh, to keep in mind, the game actually occupies 2.4 gigabytes, which says there, and it's totally correct. That's exactly the size that it takes. And right here, we're going to go ahead and start a new game. But before that, let me show you guys the settings. You got volume. I have it 100% subtitles. You can turn it on or off. I'm going to leave it on for those that like to see the subtitles. And uh, languages, you got English, French, Italiano, Dutch, Espanol. I don't know that. And that, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> so you have a lot of languages available there. And that's it. So I can continue or I could go ahead and start a new game, which that's what I'm going to do right now. And of course, if you start a new game, it will definitely erase all your progress. So I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. Okay, it says 3rd July 1986, RGHQ Secret Nuclear Bunker in England. Personnel, government and military personnel 59. Going down, up, close in a little bit. Now, this game is going to lower it a little bit. It sounds pretty loud. Like I gotta say, the speakers on the Nintendo Switch are not that bad. Very cool. Um, so, first of all, uh, this game is actually a live action. A live action point and click game. Um, considered like a survival horror game, right? And. Um, I'm going to say right away, if you're a huge fan of Telltale games or games like uh, Life is Strange, um, you're, I think this is the target for you. You know, this is the point where you want to get to uh, where everything is basically like a movie. And all you're doing is, um, you know, all you're doing is um, choosing the okay, choosing consequences, answering questions and affecting the ending of the game. Uh, this game actually has, I think it has like four endings, between two to four endings, I think it is. I don't really know exactly, but I, it has more than one ending. And, of course, it came out for PlayStation 4, Xbox One. And here, what you do is, right here you have, the, you see this reticle right there, this little dot you can move around. Uh, you select... Whatever you want to select there, tap and breed. So that's basically the point and click that you do. But the cool thing is that which I find it a lot easier is to use your fingers. Using your fingers is way faster than using the stick to move around this little dot. Okay, so now we got 49 personnel with the kid that just got born. The bunker boy. Now, I am super happy that this game came out here for the Nintendo Switch. Okay, 30 years later, day 10,998. Now, when it came out for PlayStation 4, I actually did not play it at all. I did not play it. I did want to play it, but I was busy playing something else. I don't remember what was it, but I was busy playing something else, and I didn't have time for playing the bunker, so... I was actually, I, I, I actually said, you know what, when it actually drops in price, I'll go ahead and get it. Because, you know, in the PSN, they always have great sales. So I say, but it, I think it never happened. I think they never put this game on sale. Maybe they did, but I never bought it. Uh, but now that's here on the Nintendo Switch and I can play this game on the go, it's, you know, it's a lot. For me, it's a no brainer for me. So this, this is the little baby that actually got born right before the nuclear war happened, started. And I think this is England. Yeah, this is England. So yeah, this is the boy, the baby that actually got born. So he been, he's been raised inside of the bunker for 30 years. What a life. And of course. So, like, see here, I could choose right now what to read to her. 
Uh, obviously, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose the Bible. There you go. The first time I tried this, I actually cho chose the menu, <laughs> the the nuclear menu, and and he was just reading instructions to her on how to survive in the in the bunker and how the the rules and all that. Yeah, he barely reads anything to her before she's like almost gone. So yes, you can take screenshots, but I think you can't take video. Let me see. Yep, you can't take videos. Poor fella. That sucks. Wow. Okay, so now is day eleven thousand a hundred and nine. And here we are alone. He's checking on the board checklist. The thing is, it basically is like uh, instructions or, or the routine. It was basically the routine list he has to follow to survive here in the bunker. Uh, so right now, like you see here, I can move the dot, the little thing around and select anything here. Right now, we cannot select food. Like, for example, if I want to start in food, I cannot select that. So you actually do have to go from top to bottom. So you click and it highlights and it selects. So here, I'm going to go ahead and we're talking about vitamins but first of all I'm going to show you guys how easy it is with the fingers just like that okay he's going to check his radiation levels he's going to up the volume here and here, of course, I could just tap on that if I want with my fingers, but I'm going to use the button because I don't like, I don't like uh, sm putting smudges on the screen while I'm, sh while I'm showing you guys the video gameplay. That's why right. most of the times I avoid using touch controls, but in reality, this game is better played using your fingers than moving the little uh, dot around with the stick. Okay, so we're going to use the radio. So we're gonna go ahead and move the dial. So I gotta say, it's pretty incredible that we get to play like something like this that looks like basically like a movie, and you actually can dictate um, the ending. You know, you actually can choose, make choices, and all that that will actually affect the ending. That's really cool. That's really cool. But of course, games like this are not for everybody. Everybody doesn't really like uh, Telltale games or find them boring. So if you find, honestly, if you find those games boring, I don't know, you might not like this game either. You know, you might not like it either because it's basically the same thing, but live action, not cartoony or anything like that. So we're going to turn that on. You see, there's better if you do it with the finger. So what we're doing here, we're I think we're testing the bunker. I forgot, I didn't read what I chose. <laughs> Perform bark bunker radiation check. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, everything seems to be good. Bunker radiation is normal. Good. Good. Okay. Food check. Okay, so we got three choices here, but we can't really see what the choices are. You're just randomly picking something. Uh, I was going to pick this one over here because before I picked this one over here. Oh, peas and carrots. So that makes 27 years. 
Holy crap, 27 years. Damn, he has 24, 7, 27 years and 4 months, 3 months of food left. Which actually, su what really sucks is that he's there by himself. You know, if he had somebody or more people, that would have been way better time to, you know, but alone by yourself, that really sucks. And in this game, so far, we don't know how long he's been by himself. Because I know he, his mother died, but before his mother was, how long was the last person that survived before his mother? Okay, so we got here. We could cho may choose here, here, here. I'm gonna choose over here because last time I chose over here. And look at that, his mom is still fr freaking there. Are you kidding me? What is it? Not. Ah, he draw flowers. <laughs> cool. What uh, over here? Minus ten degrees. Minus ten That's degrees. Mm, okay. She liked it when I read to her. Okay, we read the Bible to her. Cast thy bread upon the running waters, for after a long time thou shalt find it again. Give a portion to seven, <clears throat> and also to eight. And thou knowest what evil should be upon this earth. So that's pretty cool that this game, you know, is actually here. Uh, there's other games out there that are coming that were just announced. Uh, like, for example, Firewatch is an awesome freaking game that I, I never got to play. And it's coming for the Nintendo Switch. I don't know yet when it's coming. But yes, it's actually coming to the Nintendo Switch. And I'm super happy. I can't wait to play it. Because I, that's another game that I really wanted to play. Look at that. They... 11,110 and we're gonna go again by the list through the list again uh, I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen right after this because we can't be doing the same thing over and over again okay at least like you see there he actually chose everything So it's increasing. Mm -hmm. Radio. So yes, Firewatch is coming for the Switch, which I am super happy. Can't wait for to see when is the date. I hope it actually comes out soon. Um, and I hope it actually looks really, really that good. Um, another thing is that you know, this weekend it's it has been it has it's been packs going on. Packs have been going on, and um, there's been a lot of uh, games announced and you know and and gameplays done on the Switch. Like for example, um, the Colossus Wolfenstein 2, the Colossus looks incredible. I I saw it. Uh, there's some I I heard some places saying that the frame rates are are not that good still needs to get updated and all that but the game actually looks from what i've seen the game actually looks pretty damn good you know and of course having it on the go it's just just awesome just awesome so i can't wait to try that game there's no they confirmed for that uh so some gameplay for sushi game the sushi game looks pretty good too and uh, what other game they showed? Uh, I've seen. Okay. Yeah, dreary mornings were before us. But there were no sign of any wind. And the boats had gone Oh, out. yeah. The Saw the game. The Dark Souls game. Actually looks incredible, too. The they did a great job porting the that the game to the Nintendo to Switch. I volunteered for as well. Books. And oh, Donkey well. Kong. Donkey Kong is another game that I can't wait to play. I, I'm really, really, really excited. Waiting to play that game. I think it comes out uh, not too far away. I think it comes out on May 4th, I think. Which, uh, of course, yes, I'm going to be picking up that game. Day 11, 1000, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Too many ones. Okay, so we can't be doing this shit forever. Okay, guys. Sorry if you're boring with the, the gameplay, but... You know, believe me, guys, it does get interesting later on. 
Okay, there you go. Radiation is over 80 MR. Come on, let's get something. Something's gonna happen now. System error. Mm -mm. Come on, something's gonna happen. Uh oh, server failure. Okay, so here we go. I Different. Find manual, I can fix this. If I find the menu, I can fix this. Finally, some different gameplay here. See, like, see what, see what I'm saying? I think it's better if you use your fingers. And we're gonna check here, see if we can find the menu. Is that it? System. There you go. Now, of course, I I can't keep showing you too much of the gameplay, cause okay, what was as your menu reads? In the event of server failure, one make announcement that the main power is being shut down. Two find fuse back, log it in the storage room. Blah, 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 blah. Three locate replacement fuse. Shut off main power. Wait ten seconds. Replace damaged fuse. Switch mains. Power back on and perform a system check. Okay, gotta do all that. Okay, what's? Why the hell you have that little? Okay, it says. Uh, I toy collection. Okay. My favorite toy made by took ages to make. Okay. So this Okay, so I wonder, yeah, I thought you actually used the sticks to move, but no, you don't. You just tap there and here. Okay, it says, let's go, what's what's in here? Okay, this is where the food is at. So, no. Nope. Nothing in here but beans. Yeah. Okay, here we can see the list. Back. Oh, this is really cool, man. This looks really damn cool. Okay, let's go over there. Sick bay. What's this? Date, 4th of July, 96. Patient's name, Vera Taylor. Okay, so if you Patient want to read it yourself, way better, Vomiting you could do that. Also cough with occasional blood. Okay. So she was sick. Let's go over here. It's locked. It's locked. What's this? No lights. I'm hmm. safe. What's that? Blood. Okay, so I guess there's nothing there either. Now this is where we were. We were there already, so we gotta turn back around again. So I think this is this is the room where we came. Room two, right? Yeah, this is our room, so yeah, we gotta get out of here. Okay, so like you see there, this is how this game actually works. You know, you tap, select. No, we already chose those two doors. 
So we gotta get go through the other way. Uh, it's gonna over here. <laughs> move it, move it, move it. Well, he's the only one here, so I'm pretty sure he, he's freaked out because he don't want to die. You know? <laughs> Come on, take it easy, boy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, little lucky toy. Ah, oh, it's locked. <laughs> See, you were panicking for nothing. That thing is locked. Uh, what about the door behind you? Room one. That one's open. She liked it when I went to her. Okay, so this is where his mom was. Maybe there's something Smile useful here. <laughs> oh, look at this. We can actually see his drawings by tapping the R button. <laughs> cool. So, guys, I think I'm going to have to end the video here because, I one, uh, the video is getting long. And, two, it would be filled of a whole bunch of spoilers because there's okay look at that we found the keys there because pre, pretty like most likely we're gonna need those keys now I have to yeah so and of course this game is easily you can easily get spoiled but by, by everything i'm showing here and most likely a lot of people don't appreciate that but uh, you know the reason i do these videos to share with you guys how it actually looks and I think we now have the keys here, right? So, let's see. Man, I don't like the dragging this. Let's see. It's way better if we do that. So, you see there, it's way better if you actually use your fingers than the stick. Is uh, you can, The selections are going to be a lot more faster. And it feels really smooth. It feels really smooth. I, I actually thought that the cutscenes and the video wasn't going to be looking that good but in reality it looks really damn good you know you're basically controlling a freaking movie okay this is a live action movie you were controlling here and it has a whole bunch of endings depending on your choices that you're making all that so guys i think i'm gonna end the video here look at that we got like a little flashback of him playing there with his little toys and figures I think they're like a little board game. He's like 12 years old right there. Maybe 13. Pretty cool. So guys, thanks for watching this video. This was the bunker on the Nintendo Switch. I gotta say, it does look really good. It does look really good. And it plays really easily. Honestly, using your fingers is the best way to go. But if you if you don't want to smudge your fingers, uh, you smudge your screen, you might want to use the stick. But in reality... For me, I think the easiest way is to just use your fingers just to move around. In reality, a combination between your fingers and the buttons, I think that's the way to go. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Till next time.